Gray Zone Warfare is in early access, and as a result, it's missing a number of quality of life features that most games in the genre have. One of the biggest items on my wishlist is the ability to have an aiming sensitivity. I like a very high sensitivity for moving, looking around, and navigating the menus, but this high sensitivity often causes me to overcorrect while aiming. Here's a quick tutorial on how to add a temporary solution using the Logitech G-Hub software, and hopefully Gray Zone will have an in-game setting for this in future content updates. This is the Logitech G-Hub app, and you can see this is the keyboard that I use, and here's the mouse that I use. So if we go in into the mouse, change the game so that it only happens while I'm playing Gray Zone. We can select the Gray Zone application, and then the first thing we want to do is set the sensitivities that we want to bounce between. So 3200 here is my default that I that I use for for browsing on the desktop. I want my aiming sensitivity 1600. What we're going to do here is I want to get rid of this 2400 because I want to bounce between these two and it, with a DPI shift. So I'm going to just pull this down to 800 um, so that 3200 is going to be my default. And then when I do a DPI shift, it's going to go to 1600. And the way we're going to do that is with a macro. So in assignments here in macros, we can create a new macro. I'm going to name it, you know, ADS or something like that. And then choose sequence. And the sequence is going to start on press. Where What we're going to do is do a system, mouse, DPI down. So this is going to shift our DPI down from 3200, in my case, to 1600. And then uh, the macro that we want to do while we're holding the key. So we're going to record keystroke. And you see that I did a secondary click and then it, uh, it when I release it, 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 um, it let go. So we want to get rid of this let go. And so we only want to, while, while holding the right click down, I only want it to hold right click down. I don't want it to actually keep repeating the right click. So just holding it down. And then when we release right click, uh, or mouse two, right? We want to do the DPI up. So we want to go to system, mouse, and a DPI shift up. And we can save that. So this is our new macro. It's going to give you a warning here that and you there's no mouse up. It's only mouse down. And we want to click yes to this. So once we have our macro here, uh, we want to bind it to the secondary click. So we just pull this over here. And now, whenever we hold right click, it's going to shift our DPI down. Uh, sensitivity here <laughs> in game, and I actually boosted it up um, to 1.0 so we can get a fast look. So this is like a full extension of my wrist. I can basically turn all the way around. That's, that's that, that hurts, right? And then, so here, so... I can only go like a quarter of a way for the same turn. Well, that should temporarily fix Amy's sensitivity until they actually put it at their sensitivity in the game. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give it a thumbs up. For more tips, tricks, and guides, check out the playlist on screen and the links down in the description below. Consider subscribing if you want to see more content like this in the future.